Like that, you know? Mm -hmm. This is your time. Hack the phone! Hack the phone! There are many passions I've had in my life. Baseball, hockey, redheads, TV and movies. And possibly at the top of the list are the New York Rangers and the Simpsons. I love both so much that my high school girlfriend knew lines from The Simpsons without ever watching the show. Whether it was the monorail song or asking yourself, does whiskey count as beer? Hell, I started this YouTube channel to talk about hockey. And now I get to cross over into the world of Simpsons videos on YouTube. There's a few on here. I'm Mark from Big Apple Hockey. And here's a retrospective of one of my favorite Simpson episodes. Lisa on Ice. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. So in 1994, my two worlds collided when The Simpsons aired one of my favorite episodes of the show, Lisa on Ice. And whenever I have a hard day, I fire up Disney Plus and watch the episode. This episode was the brainchild of Simpsons writer Mike Scully, who was a passionate hockey fan. The director of this episode, Bob Anderson, watched a lot of footage of the NHL playoffs and watched youth hockey games to see how kids would stick handle. Originally, there were cameos written in for Bob Yor and Wayne Gretzky, but were ultimately scrapped. Which is amazing, because when you think about every episode of The Simpsons featuring a sport, it relied on a cameo from a sports icon. Homer at the Bat was littered with baseball stars. In Bart Starr, Hall of Famer Joan Namath dropped in for a great scene that subverts expectations. In season 12's Tennis the Menace, the family takes up tennis that devolves into a celebrity tennis match between Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi, and the Williams sisters. However, in Lisa on Ice, they felt the story was so good that a cameo would take people out of it. With Fox acquiring the rights to show NHL games, Wayne Gretzky would host Fox Sunday Night featuring this episode. It has lots of commentary on parents pressuring kids in sports, finding hidden talents, and Chief Wiggum letting everyone out of prison. It's such a good episode of the show that if you never watched a second of The Simpsons, you get the grasp of the entire series and its characters solely from this 22 minutes. So let's get down to the story. It begins with Bart not wanting to do his book report as he is told by the weatherman that there will be snow. The next morning, Lisa hits him in the face with a snowball and tricking Bart to run outside to... Unseasonable warmth? I made the snowball from the frost in our freezer! <laughs> Bart is saved from not doing his book report when Principal Skinner calls an assembly to hand out academic alerts. Beginning with this hilarious one from Ralph Wiggum. Wiggum, Ralph. I won! I won! No, no, Ralph. This means you're failing English. Me fail English? That's impossible. And then the moment that really kicks off the plot. Principal Skinner calls out Simpson. But as Bart gets up, he says, Lisa... Puzzled, the brainiac of the family wonders what it could be. Jim? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard! <laughs> and now we see Lisa's flaw. She's not good at sports. And she's scared she might get an F. Sports, 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 sports. March, Bart rides up in the front seat today because he's a good guy at sports. I think Lisa needs to feel a little special tonight. How about letting her ride up front, too? Yeah, I tried. Aww. In the meantime, they attend one of Bart's hockey games. In this sequence, we not only find out Homer's pressure on his son to perform, but also Bart's competitive spirit that he's willing to slap a puck into his best friend's face. Eventually, Bart taunts Lisa by shooting garbage at her and this catches a poo's eye, wondering if her natural reflexes would translate to the game of hockey. Heads up, little girl! <laughs> the goalie of my dreams! This would follow quickly to another joke, as The Simpsons are one of the greatest shows 
ever at Joke Chains. Homer gives his thoughts on Lisa playing a boy's sport. It's that girls should stick to girls' sports, such as hot oil wrestling, boxy boxing. And Marge is being concerned for her daughter's safety. But hockey is so violent and dangerous. Look at Milhouse's teeth. Mom, will you stop showing us those? But eventually, Lisa suits up and plays goal. She is terrified by the puck and constantly shrieks as the puck comes near her. Even as Homer and Bart laugh at her, she ends up winning Homer's favor, even in his own way. Next time we see her on the ice, she grows less scared of the puck and even more aggressive towards it. She's no longer a little girl in net. She's a warrior. Wow, I have the tiger, mouth of a teamster. To think of all the time I wasted on you. Uh, well, not wasted. Uh, I love you. Now it becomes a rivalry with Bart, infringing on his area of expertise. Bart doesn't take it well, and he tries to beat Lisa at school with poor results. Stop raising your hand. You haven't had one right answer all day. Sorry. This leads to Bart taking a beating from Nelson and getting an unexpected backup. <laughs> Lay off, guys. He's with me. It's a lucky coincidence you happen to be your sister's brother. Don't worry, Bart. They won't bother you anymore. <laughs> Later... He confronts Lisa up in her room and rips the head off of Mr. Honey Bunny. Bart, that was your cherished childhood toy. Ah, Mr. Honey Bunny! Then, the brother and sister play a game that's not going to end well for either. And going back to the theme of this episode, Homer's competitive spirit and his pressure on his children through sports. And don't go easy on each other just because you're brother and sister. I want to see you both fighting for your parents' love! Fight, 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 This leads to the third act, and one of the funniest third acts in Simpsons history. Beginning with the build-ups of the game, where Chief Wiggum lets everyone out of prison to see the game, even though they really don't care. Sherry and Terry jumping rope with a great finish, and Bart aggressively passing condiments to Homer with Lisa stopping him. Mo walks in to get some inside gambling information, fearing Jeez, I'm 64 grand in the hole. They're gonna take my dogs. And on to the game. Krusty turns down the cue cards for the national anthem to poor results, and Homer tries to get Marge to admit she likes one child more than the other, ignoring Maggie right here. Meanwhile, the kids already made their choice. Hi, <laughs> kid! On to the game. Bart scores immediately on Lisa, drawing praise from Homer. Lisa stops Bart, drawing praise from Homer. Marge brings him a beer, and you find where his true allegiance is. Other great hockey jokes follow before Bart gets tripped on a breakaway, leading to an outburst from Marge. I want this is a perfect moment in a youth sports episode. Get her, boy! Get her! Bart is awarded a penalty shot and the crowd chants in support. Kill Bart! Kill! And against him. Kill Bart! Leading to one of my favorite Homerisms of the series. The winner will be showered with praise. The loser will be taunted and booed until my throat is sore. As Bart and Lisa get ready for the penultimate moment, the two remember growing up with each other and their fond memories of helping each other out. Great game, Lise. Great game, Bart. Technically, this wouldn't happen in a real game, but who cares? And in typical Simpsons fashion, Homer declares both of them losers, and the crowd hilariously riots with, of all people, the police chief egging them on. As Bart and Lisa skate off the ice, we're treated to one of the greatest Simpson endings ever. Those kids are like so sweet. If only they had had peewee hockey when I was a lad. Oh, well. <laughs> Ooh! 
Lisa on Ice was the second highest rated show on Fox that week. And ESPN called it the fifth best sports moment in Simpsons history, which has a long history of sports-based episodes. For me, it's just pure joy and jokes endlessly and easily unfolding while keeping the story moving forward. That case I sentence you to a lifetime of horror on Monster Island. Don't worry, it's just a name. He said it was just a name! What he meant is that Monster Island is actually a peninsula. It may not be Marge versus the Monorail or the Stonecutters, but as a hockey fan, I love this episode of Peak Simpsons at their best. And if you haven't seen this episode, check it out. Guys, girls love a man that's well-groomed. So check out Manscaped and their family of products. They have you covered from head to toe, from the lawnmower to the weed whacker, because you don't want to look like a fuzzball. Go to manscaped.com, put in promo code BAH for Big Apple Hockey to get 20% off and free shipping. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.